is what I've been wearing late summer and early autumn. Look number one, I'm starting with this purple for love and lemons top. It has the cutest little floral buttons and little daisy pattern. Cute little frilly trim. I love this shirt. Next, I pair it with these grandpa chic denim shorts. They're Urban Outfitters. I also got them off Depop. I love these so much. Can't stop wearing them. But why the fuck is this not a pocket? It pisses me off. Anyways, and then I pair it with this little baguette bag that my friend got me as a gift. It matches the shirt perfectly. It was made for it. Then I finished the look with these Melissa Lazy Oak sandals. Oh, I love these so much. They smell like bubblegum. They're super comfortable and they're perfect for summer. And this is the finished look. This is Nick recording me on a date night at a night market. Very good boyfriend. Look number two, starting with this milkmaid unit top. Love the ribbon and cute detailing. And then this brand new Manville floral skirt got second hand. And this coach purse I got second hand. Little embroidered vegetables. So fucking cute. I'm gonna pair this with my Vivian Westwood Pearl Choker. I just think it looks really cute. And then I have these little frilly socks from Urban Outfitters and my vintage brown Banana Republic robes. You me frolicking around in a bunch of flowers. I feel like this would be a really good picnic look. I mean, I feel like I could wear this anywhere really. The little flowers, uh, arboretum, garden. I wouldn't really do any actual gardening in this look, but I would like to think if I owned a little cottage in the woods, this would be my uniform. Although I probably wouldn't survive out there. And then here is me trying to pose next to this really cute tree, but there were a fuckload of bees, so I just gave up. Look number three starts with this stunning vintage Victoria's Secret candy. I think it's supposed to be like a 90, but I don't care. I'm wearing this shit outside. My titties may show. That is alright. I paired them with this pair of Paxson denim shorts that I got off Depop, I think. Just something simple. And then of course, my vintage Chanel flap. I use any excuse I can to wear these. And then these new strappy heels I got from Macy's a while ago, I think completes it. It's a very Y2K fit. This is me at a little flea market. This is the kind of like glorified cute Y2K, not the like dress on jeans, unfortunately. I'm not that real. Look number four is starting with this beautiful lace corset. It's from Urban Outfitters. I like to think it is a slightly more cottagecore fairy take on the corset everyone has, including me up until a few days ago when I sold it. Anyways, I like to go a little active pair it with this pair of shorts that I thrifted. They're kind of like a cocky material, khaki material, and same bullshit with this goddamn button not being a fucking pocket. Like, it's so cute, but this would have been the perfect little pocket for my trinkets. What the heck, man? I do love these shorts, though. I'm gonna pair it again with my favorite brown Banana Republic robes that I got from a thrift store. I feel like these always give me like an academia vibe. And then I have some tan oatmeal colored socks. And this is the completed look. I love how dainty it is, kind of academia vibe with the shoes. I paired it with my little cottage core purse and I was really digging the way that the rainbows were reflecting on my walls. I just feel like I'm studying in like a cafe or a library when I wear this. Look number seven, we're doing a little more mask. Don't make fun of me. I have another mesh top from Urban Outfitters that was not secondhand. I'm sorry, I am not immune to trends, but I really like these tops. I think they're really good for going out. And I usually wear, <laughs> you fucking guessed it, my denim vest. I just can't stop wearing this denim vest. I don't know if I'm gonna look back on it in however many years and be like, damn, who let me do that? But I think it's sick as fuck. And I love double denim. Double denim is so good when you don't have a bitch in your telling you it's not. I'm gonna wear the same shorts I wore earlier. I have these floral embroidered ones. Knee highs have been really in as opposed to thigh highs. So I have these long ass uh, fishnets that I used to wear as thigh highs, but I'm gonna wear them as knee highs instead. Oh, I almost forgot. This fucking belt. I got this at Goodwill for like a dollar. And that's pretty much it. This is a really good concert look. That's why I wore this too. Super lightweight, didn't really sweat too much, but I still looked really good.
I really love this fit. It's good for when I'm feeling a little bit more masculine, but I still want to look like cool. I felt really cool in this. I also wore a fanny pack. I feel like that's just normal concert attire. I have to put all my shit in a bag that I can keep in front of me and not like hit people in the face with. This outfit is a slightly more feminine version. I have this Urban Outfitters bodysuit. It's very lacy and satiny. Then I put on my trusty denim vest and this black denim skirt. It's Urban Outfitters, but I got it second hand. It's perfect for this transitional period because I think the little unfinished edges kind of make it look like it's fur lined, so it's good for like winter and fall. And of course, my Stuart Weitzman knee-high leather boots. I got these at Goodwill for like 15 bucks. With such a plunging neckline, I need a necklace. I got this recently from Urban Outfitters that I think works perfectly. And this is the final look. I think that it's perfect for going out with friends at night, getting drinks, going to a club. I just feel really good in this outfit, honestly. It's a little more feminine than the other one, so it depends on my mood for the day, but very cute. This next look, I'm actually going to show you the final result first. It's a very cute, cozy, fall transitional look. I could wear this in like a cafe, a bookstore, you name it. And I'm gonna show you how I built this look. I was like, how do I wear this? And then I figured it out. I put a skirt over it. Whew. Are we thinking those or these? <laughs> I wish I was joking when I said that this is how I try on shoes. <laughs> to see what looks better. Let me see. I think brown. Mix up the white. I'm proud of this outfit, honestly. The dress is thrifted. Skirt, Brandy Melville, Bob Depop. Jacket, thrifted. Uh, shoes, Banana Republic, thrifted. Purse, coach. Look number eight. Starting with this Brandy Melville top. I think I got it off Depop. It's this little baby tee with these really cute little butterflies. I don't know, this reminds me of something I would have worn as a kid. I pair it with, get this, butterfly pants. <laughs> what? Crazy, he's crazy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I thrifted these pants from the Goodwill bins. They're capri length, at least on me as a tall boy. I really like these capris. I feel like with a simple fit like this, it's really important to accessorize. So I'm gonna lean into the kid core and go with the same Melissa Lazy Oak shoes. I have these little floral hair clips. Oh shit! And I think the purple matches really well with the butterflies. And then these gummy bear earrings. I don't remember where I got these. I want to say Depop like years ago. I think it matches like the same kind of purple. And then this little butterfly ring that I got from a farmer's market is so precious. It matches perfectly. And that's pretty much it. I think this is a really comfortable, easy outfit, but still super cute. Enjoy Nick's thumb over the camera, because I do. <laughs> Outfit. I'm starting with this mesh top from Urban Outfitters. Kind of reminds me of the ocean, and I'm wearing it with this really long skirt that I got from a state sale. It's, I really love this skirt because it buttons down all the way so you can see the boots underneath. It's crazy, and I'm wearing it with my knee high boot. And then I pair this with my leather jacket, my heart shaped coach purse, and that's pretty much it. It's perfect for museums or aquariums. The last look is very autumnal in my opinion. It's very like 70s mom to me. I start with this Jim McGuas top, which is so cute, crocheted, but I actually wear it backwards because I think that it looks better. And then I pair it with these vintage brown Rampage pants I love, and then this green faux leather purse, and these black boots to tie it all together. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! Thank you.